Let's move on, man, to, to Terrell Owens. Oh, good. Okay. I like this. this I have to talk to you about Terrell Owens real quick. Says that he has never officially retired. He just isn't being given a chance to play anymore. What? Like, what does okay? that mean? Hold on. Isn't being given a chance to play. He said, some people get old, okay? but Everybody I, gets but old. But I defy the odds, okay? And let me hit you with the biggest one here. I'm no different than Tom Brady. That's what Terrell Owens said. I'm no I different. I said that. I was like, what? Okay, you just stay over there with the chat, please. I'm no different than Tom Brady, is what Terrell Owens said before we get <laughs> to here. <you> know. <laughs> all right, and I'm thinking here, this is the third all-time leading receiver in terms of yardage, right? Yeah. Hall of Famer. You've had an unbelievable career. I get it that you still want to play, but why bring this attitude towards it? I, I, why can't you be grateful for the career that you were able I, to have? Here's, here's the part that I, it doesn't make sense to me. And you can talk about Kaepernick and all that stuff, too. You can lump it all in the same thing, even though... You, know, you could argue Kaepernick doesn't really want to play. The, in that, the way the NFL works, I don't understand how you can say, okay, these owners and GMs, they're all greedy, money hungry, yep. trying to take advantage of players, using loopholes in the rules to get the best players there. Because what makes money? Winning. Winning. That's what makes money. You win, people buy tickets. You win, people buy hot dogs. You win, people buy jerseys. And then, they, then, on the other hand, some people say, oh, well, they can be like that, but they really don't want the best players. I'll tell Terrell Owens this. I'll look right down the barrel of the camera and tell you this. If you were still good enough, there's enough teams out there that need a wide receiver that they would let you play. They would sign you. There isn't some huge conspiracy to keep you out exactly. of the league. Stop making excuses. Everybody gets old. Everybody gets old. You're not Benjamin Button. You can't say that the league is dirty and greedy and all they want to try and do is build super teams and, and take advantage of these players and then say, oh, well, they really don't want to sign the best players for some odd reason. Exactly. And you think T.O., there's divas all over the league. Mm -hmm. Look at Antonio Brown. And, and there's other guys that are on teams that are huge divas as well. OBJ. Terrell Owens is over, man. It's over. The yeah. fat lady's singing. Your career's over. And guess what? It was an unbelievable career. You went from rags to riches. You went from rags to riches. You're a Hall of Famer. He's already one of the best the wide Hall receivers ever. And you think, you think this is different going out there doing a copper fit commercial like Jerry, like Jerry Rice. And now you're going to play in the seven on seven league. You know why you're going to play in the seven on seven league? Because that's the only league that you can play in that somebody will have you play on their team. And to say that it's because of some other reason other than you can't help them is ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. Well, I'm sure T.O. could play in, in another. He could play in Canada. Well, he just joined the 7-on-7. Seven seven. Well, then yeah, why not play in Canada play. then? Well, joined, do y'all think, yeah. think, think T.O. seriously believes this? Yeah. He said, I'm no different than Tom Brady. Y'all think T.O. seriously believes Yeah. After everything T.O. has done. Well, okay. Every, that's my quarterback. Everything T.O. has done in out of his career. I think T.O. just wants to be attention. somewhat relevant. Yeah. And man, just man, begging man. for attention because no one no one cares about Terrell Owens anymore. Guys. That's just the truth. They just don't. You had a great career. You're in the Hall of Fame. But T.O. will always be one of those guys. It always has to be about me, yep. me, me. And most of the time... Those guys are usually what? Receivers. Yeah. All right. So well, he's about to join another me guy in Johnny Manziel for the seven on seven. Was How Johnny long? Manziel a me guy or just a dumb? Was, he, was, Johnny, <laughs> was Johnny Manziel a me guy? I think yeah. Johnny Manziel really? just. That's a real question? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, like, was he a me guy or does he just like to party too much? I, I, I think Is that he not was, being a me guy? Well, I think it, like coming out to the media and being be like, guy? well, I'm not getting this, I'm not getting that, I'm not, I need more passes or what. Johnny Manziel just partied. Does anybody have any, anything in the Boots Club to say about Terrell Owens? Because it's got to be one or the other. Because this this whole conspiracy about the NFL is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's mm. absolutely ridiculous. They are signed, they are going to pro days at like technical schools. They're going to pro days at like the University of Phoenix. Or like the Le Cordon Bleu of culinary school to find people that can play. There's been people that have gone from rugby to play. If you have never seen how in-depth these NFL scouts and these, they scour the globe to find people. They will look in every nook and cranny. So to think for a second, if T.O. really is serious about this, there's, there's some type of conspiracy about not getting him back, you are off your rocker. you probably always been off your rocker, but now you're off your John rocker.
That's Especially why you already have the name recognition. Like yeah, so a bunch it. of jerseys. If, if you're we're adding it, value, you did it. You did it. If we're arguing that T.O. hasn't always been off a rocker, his rocker. No, I'm not arguing that. Know, I'm not arguing that. Him, I don't know who's real, realistically worse, him or Antonio Brown. Like, ah, Antonio T.O.'s Brown. prime. Man. Antonio Antonio's Brown's prime. Antonio Brown. It was, I mean, Antonio Brown. Terrell Owens wasn't missing games because of his stuff. Yeah, like. Uh, he was still going. He's third all time on the on the. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I agree. List. Antonio Brown, to me, is le- has legitimately. Yeah. He's has a problem a on a team. All right, Hudson Little says, T.O. has always been overrated. Fight me. <laughs> if you like that content, go ahead and subscribe because we're going to be balling every day on Crane and Company. Hit that like button while you're at it and go ahead and smash it like Derrick Henry on an ISO run.